Greetings, I'm Demonac, and this is the state of the channel in 2022. First, episode 66, the finale of Tales from my D&D campaign's first campaign, at least for now, is up. If you missed it somehow, screw this video, go watch the episode. Second, TLDR, what's coming up? Extra 65, anytime now. The public version got delayed because I really needed to finish episode 66. TDDC Awards! What? That's right, my sister Orestria, voice of Hazamura, Higgins, and a bunch of characters who don't start with H, took nominations from patrons and votes from viewers for favorite scenes, characters, and all kinds of stuff, and she's going to announce the winners December 2nd, which is the 10-year anniversary of the series. Then, TDDC 10th Anniversary Marathon! Like an idiot, I am going to stream myself watching the entire series, almost 30 hours, over the course of two days, the weekend of December 3rd and 4th. I will definitely be commenting on the series, though I will leave the playlist running during breaks and whatnot. I'll have to stop and restart a new stream midway through each day because 10 hours is the maximum video length on YouTube. Insanity! TDDC Sea of Secrets Character Reveals You've seen the default portraits by artist Archie Doodler, but over the next couple months there should be a series of short little videos which reveal each player character's name, class, and mostly their individual music themes by Cool Boy Shane for the new series. Obviously, Extra 66, patron version, then public version, will have to happen at some point. As you can see, I have a ridiculous amount of stuff to do, and I don't know where any leftover creative energy will go, but if I don't get my patrons either a new chapter of Mage Captain Sahara, or the fourth episode of Hammer and Smoke D&D 5e podcast in the next two months, I'll be very disappointed in myself. If you want to stay up to date on this kind of stuff, you can follow me on Twitter at TalesDDC, or if that dies for some reason, demonact.tumblr.com, or you can join the TDDC Discord using the link in the description of this video, or find all my stuff at demonac.com. Also, I was recently reminded that even if you can't afford to support me at patreon.com slash demonac, all my news updates type patron posts are actually public, so you can click the follow button there to receive updates, though you probably have to create a Patreon account with your email address. Side note, I'm also finally putting out a new Patreon Ask video to replace the old one I should have updated years ago. But of course, your main question probably has to be, what is the plan for TDDC SOS? Now, I've just listed a billion things I need to do, and we all know how bloody slow I am, but the plan for Sea of Secrets is as follows. I still expect to take about two or two and a half months per episode, like I have been with original TDDC, which would put the first episode hopefully before the end of January 2023. The first episode of Sea of Secrets is expected to be shorter than you were used to, at about 15 minutes, and unfortunately that's going to include some kind of crappy, like and subscribe, watch my old series pitch. The plan is not to do that verbal self-promotion stuff in most episodes. You'll notice I haven't done it for years in TDDC, which really improves the re-watching experience. But I believe I do need it to be in that first episode to try to grow the channel. From then on, I can relegate that junk to extras. There are three main reasons for a short first episode. One, although I realize lots of people now watch multi-hour YouTube videos, I still think that a 15 minute runtime will be much easier to share, much less intimidating, less commitment for a new audience to click on, compared to the 30 to 40 minute lengths I seem to like writing. And the first episode of the new series is the single chance I have to start the channel growing again. Two, I think that, mostly by accident, the extremely fast paced events of TDDC episode one, back when I naively thought I could catch up with the game which was ongoing at the time. I think that pacing really did help to suck people into the story, despite the terrible production quality. So while the first episode of SOS will probably have more character focus and less exposition than that, I do want to try to recapture that dynamic, fast-paced feel. Then, once I've got you, I can get back to longer episodes to really explore the world, characters, and all the other good stuff. 
three, from a purely practical point of view, I need to create just a mountain of new art assets. My own art of the PCs, new NPCs, backgrounds, combat animations, an attention grabbing cold open. I decided on 15 minutes as my target for the above reasons, but it is also the reason I have any hope of completing all this retooling in a regular episode length of time. I don't know for sure how TDDZ SOS is going to feel. We'll have to discover that as we go. But if you like my storytelling in original TDDC, I expect you'll still like what I'm doing. And currently, I still expect to aim for roughly 30 minute episodes after the first one. All right, with all that business out of the way, let's finally, at long last, name the remaining TDDC episodes. I haven't done an episode titles video for years, so we're going all the way back to number 45. I can't read all the suggestions or this will take forever, but I'll list them on screen and believe me, you guys provided some fantastic options. Almost every episode was hard to choose. Episode 45, which followed the infamous Ride the Lightning, will be titled Poking the Dragon, suggested by Lachlan McPhee. Episode 49 has been named for a while, but I have a note here that I mistakenly credited Dr. M. Hyde for The Lich's Treasure when it was actually suggested by Cloud4N. Here's what I was looking at when I made the mistake. Sorry about that, Cloud4N. Episode 51, which followed him and marked the beginning of The Week of Hell, will be titled Escape Routes, suggested by Chip Cola. Episode 52 featuring the mysterious swamp will be titled we go suggested by most of you like none of the puns quite felt like an improvement over just the name and the name doesn't mean anything that would function as a spoiler in the same episode where we learn it. i i don't know it's just i'm just going with we go episode 53 where they battled swain's shadowy lieutenant will be called Com Susser Todd. Suggested by Lord Dash Donald Dappington, it's got all kinds of cultural meanings and stuff, and it, it, it makes sense. And the shadow guy was Todd, so yeah. Episode 55, where they sleep in the dead elf sanctuary, visit the Dark Tree, and first hear about the Albtrom's Realm, will be titled Dark Forgotten Places. Episode 56, look, it's not subtle. It's not that clever, but gotta credit the person who did in fact suggest the title, Deathmore, suggested by S.Z. Banal. Episode 57, where they received a generous invitation, now called Stairway to Hell, which is suggested by both Buddy B31 and Dappington. Episode 58, where Al explains the rules, will be called No Haggling, suggested by Alice Rabbit. Episode 60 will simply be called Gah! Suggested by Metaman, I drastically reduced the number of A's, which is not a commentary on how many A's there should be, just how many I think will look okay or fit in YouTube. Episode 61, which had few suggestions, and I had to rewatch it to name it, will be titled You'll Love the Next Room. Episode 63, where they finally got home to the Fadelands, will be called no Rest for the Wicked, suggested by Brent Ramston. Episode 64, whose title was so obvious that I think others just didn't bother to type it, will be Ghostbusters, which was suggested by Chip Cola. And episode 65, because this is an apt description and doesn't give away the boss rush, will be titled Mad Science, suggested by Vadan Drummist, or however that's pronounced. And that's it. All the episodes of TDDC have now been named. I'm probably gonna have to name Sea of Secrets episodes properly instead of doing this for the purpose of SEO and title cards since apparently the algorithm literally doesn't like numbers in titles. The number will just have to be displayed on the actual picture since I doubt their AI is scanning for that just to further hose narrative series. And by the way, people who know me know I don't take compliments that well. I have a set level in mind of how good a job I'm doing, and anything above that, I tend to brush off. It's excessive, just being nice, etc. But it's very hard to ignore the absolutely massive amounts of glowing comments on the finale. The mix of sadness and congratulation and thanks, 
And just the great number of people who have grown up with TDDC, because I'm that old, or who credit me, in part, for getting them into TTRPGs. And that means a lot to me, to know that just by trying to tell a story to the best of my ability, I have somehow made a positive difference in a bunch of people's lives. Anyway, thanks for watching my stuff, especially if you've tried to convince your friends to watch the series, and super thanks to all my Patreon patrons for keeping me afloat, especially the ultra-generous members of the organization.